Hello folks, it's David here, I'm the host of Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast, coming to you after Rangers 3-0 victory over Fraserburgh in the Scottish Cup. Do you ever have one of those days at work where you've got a task that needs done, that you know is coming up and you know is going to be unpleasant, but you have to do it and you just grit your teeth and get through it, maybe year end or a stock take or something like that? Uh, well, that was this tonight. That Rangers team did not want to be in Fraserburgh on a Wednesday night on what appeared to be a dug-up potato field getting lumps kicked out of them by the electricians and oil workers and it kind of told a little bit, I think it's fair to say, with the honourable exception of Josh Windass who scored a terrific hat-trick um, including two wonderful finishes. So the story of the match, um, the Rangers couldn't get out of our half for the opening four or five minutes. Um, gradually sort of played, played our way into it but still with not much quality. It has to be said. I think a few of the guys who got brought in tonight to try and, and maybe state their claim didn't have a good night. And uh, eventually a nice move leads to a foul on Jason Holt in the box. It was a penalty put away comfortably by, by Josh Windass. And after that, Rangers really just toiled. Um, never in any bother. Jack Alnick, uh, our goalkeeper, looked half cut. In all honesty, he was sort of like slaloming out of the box to, to try and kick the ball clear. And, and it, he was kind of like me at golf, you know, somehow defying the laws of physics to hit the ball in ways that God did not intend a ball to travel when struck. Um, but as somebody pointed out, he is a Viking and that far north, you know, he was obviously, you know, pillaging. We're just happy he wasn't doing the other thing. So, yeah, into the second half, Graham Murphy clearly upset on the sidelines. Um, slight improvement, I suppose you could say. I mean, it wasn't anything to write home about, but... Uh, the ball breaks to Josh Windass in the box after a move and wonderful first touch and immediate finish, cracking goal, uh, lovely finish from him. And then with a similar goal to scored against Hearts actually at Murrayfield earlier in the season, gets the ball out wide, cuts inside, lashes it into the bottom corner, uh, cracking, cracking hat trick. He went off not long afterwards. And that was that. And uh, that that really was that. Uh, we saw the return of Joe Dodo, for those of you who um, compile such such stats. Uh, he's back after his loan at Charlton. But the guys who came in tonight, I don't think, did much to suggest why or, or, or to, to argue the case of, of why they should be coming in more regularly. Lee Hodson isn't a Rangers player, unfortunately. He just doesn't have the ability to do it. Uh, Andy Halliday, I thought, was really poor. And he hasn't played a lot of football this year, but you know there was a reason that Andy Halliday was was considered surplus to retirement uh, to requirements. And yes, he's very staunch, and and you know obviously I like him, but as a footballer, not quite sure. But again, it was a terrible, terrible pitch, and I do take that into account. And uh, up front, Jason Cummings worked hard, but the midfield couldn't get anything going, so he couldn't get anything going. Uh, uh, you know, Daniel Candias again you could see struggling with the pitch at times so so maybe I'm being a little harsh look they did the job the stock take is done right you know the, the annual accounts are squared and everybody can get onto the bus and go home now just just glad we don't need to face something like that for a while um, and that's it you're really hoping to get out of a game like that with no injuries you're, you're hoping to get out of a game like that with uh, everybody fit and healthy and, and you know Josh Windass has got a hat trick that's great I'd say take the match ball but given that a few of them appeared to land in the middle of the North Sea um, due to the swirling wind if he if he takes a match ball it could well be Fraser but his last match ball and that would be a little bit offside of us to do that so yeah it's interesting one thing <sighs> Nico Cranchar Graham Murty starts him and it's sympathy now because the guy is just completely done as a footballer. Unfortunately, I loved him as a player, especially when he was at Spurs. I thought he was a cracking footballer. But there's just nothing there now. And, you know, there was a lovely, lovely bit of skill from him and he, he crashed a shot off the bar. And you can see the, there's the brain that still works, but the body the rest of the time doesn't. And as I say, he'd make a cracking player in the Masters. And I look forward to when Nico represents Rangers in the Masters. But he shouldn't be playing and you can't help but think the night like that. There really isn't a kid at Ibrox from, from the under-23s who could be coming in and or the under-20s rather than coming in and getting a match. You know, Nico's going in the summer, we all know it and I just don't really see the point of playing him other than maybe they like him as a presence about the squad. He is a really good pro and the, and the players do like him and it's you know, just to, to throw my bone sort of thing. So, look, it was a 3-0 win. 
and we're through to the next round of the cup and that is all that matters in, in any cup competition it wasn't an easy watch it, was, it wasn't it was likely to be but it was done with a minimum of fuss uh, the only time I think you could really th- say Fraser Brough threatened was uh, right at the start well they had a good shout for a penalty the, the might have been a bit soft but my initial thought was oh he shoved him so we, they didn't get it and then in the second half their player uh, one of their players has come on after 83 minutes and uh, launched into Joe Dodo uh, over the ball and been sent off after 85 minutes which uh, if nothing else will give the BBC the chance to run the headline Rangers struggle over 10 man Fraserburgh so uh, there is that I suppose that somebody got something out of that uh, but imagine too imagine that you know you, you all your family are, are there you're you're saying, right, oh, I'm going to be playing against Rangers. You come on and you get sent off after two minutes. But I suppose it makes it memorable, you know. I suppose uh, that, that, that is something to, to take for the game. You know you're going to get spoken about by the by the panel after it. So, you know, fair dues. Who am I to criticise? So, yeah, into the next round. Uh, transfer window will slam shut uh, in an hour or so. And, and credit to Sky Sports for, firstly, missing... Most of the the aftermath of the red card because they were even telling everybody, look, go and watch Man United Spurs, right? This is done um, by blanking the screen completely. And then when they come back, it literally flashes up breaking news. And I thought, shit, somebody's died. Somebody important. I wonder who it is. And it's Badu somebody signs for Stoke. Yep. Nobody gives a fuck. Do not interrupt a game. Even Rangers Fraserburgh to fucking tell us that Stoke have signed anybody. People in Stoke don't care. Do not do that to the sky. But I suppose it's transfer. Transfer window is is kind of like you know Sky's Christmas Day. They love it, so I suppose we've got to we've got to let them have it. So marching on, bit of a bigger game on Saturday. We'll need a hell of a better performance to to overcome Hibs. But that is something, I suppose, to, to look forward to. Hopefully no injuries. It was a heavy pitch and we welcome back a lot of players on Saturday. So let's all look forward to that. If you want to hear more from Heart and Hand, the Rangers podcast, we'll be back tomorrow night with Heart and Hand Extra, which is uh, one of our two weekly free shows. And if you want even more from Heart and Hand, then please come to our Patreon site, which is heart, uh, to patreon.com forward slash heart and hand, where there is daily content. You'll get at least three shows a day on there, not just by me, but by a panel of bears, all of whom are right all round good guy eggs eggs sorry so uh with that enjoy the rest of your evening and i will talk to you again on saturday cheers bye